What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It has been quite a while since I picked up this camera and decided, hey, let's make some sort of video. Um, now, I'm gonna be quite honest. I don't really have anything that I'm specifically trying to make a video on. But anyway, we've got the truck, we've got the garage, which is an absolute mess still from, uh, <laughs> from the engine swap. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not looking good. It's not really been it's not been good enough outside to uh, really Just tear the garage down because I'm gonna have to take everything out pretty much and put it outside and then put it all back together and reorganize it how I want to but we do have the uh, Truck here with the new 350 engine in it I know I've gotten a, quite a bit of flack from you guys for not putting a 383 or an LS swap or whatever I keep getting you know why did you put a 350 back in it you know whatever um, you know I, like I, I said before I want to keep it this specific truck I wanted to keep it closer uh, to original I did get a comment in one video that was like well, how does that 350, how does it even move that truck? Now, does that truck not move? Does it not go anywhere? Um, the truck drives, it drives just fine. No, it's like I said, it's not a race truck. It's not a, it's not a 400 something horsepower build. This is just a drive it, enjoy it, um, you know, show it at the shows type of truck. I'm not looking for, um, you know, winning any first place, first place trophies on the drag strip or anything, uh, but, Right now, what I've got going on with it is it's got a huge battery draw. For whatever reason, I can't keep it off of the uh, battery maintainer without losing battery. I don't know what's taking it. It didn't do this before the swap, so there's some kind of wiring maybe that's, that's messed up. I don't know what's going on. I took it to the gas station uh, the other night, I guess uh, last weekend really, and um, you know, took it and filled it up with fuel. It was definitely in need of some fuel. And then I went and uh, picked up some food and by the time I got back out um, and tried to start the truck back up again it was it was almost dead enough to where it did not want to start so I don't know if it's the alternator that's not charging the battery or if the battery just gets drained by something electronical it's not a word but something electronic in the truck uh, but I usually when it's in the garage here I keep it on the uh, the battery maintainer and that seems to uh, you know, obviously help out and yeah this is a brand new battery I thought maybe you now I went through two of these back in September I thought maybe the battery was you know malfunctioning having some kind of an issue uh, it was a bad battery so I took the uh, battery back replaced it um, had it warranted out with this new one and it's still causing the same issues so at this point I'm really not sure if it's a battery deal changed up the exhaust finally I don't know if you guys if I put this on video at all but um, I had that Jones performance exhaust that Jones uh, the Jones turbines and they were great for when I had the catalytic converters on the truck but I don't know if you guys remember I took the cats off I installed the Y pipe from Jegs uh, that completely just replaces that you allows you to keep the O2 sensors uh, but you remove the cat and ever since then the Jones uh, exhaust sounded extremely horrible I mean it sounded like I took a saws off you know, I got, they got this truck for the first day in high school, took the saws off, cut off the muffler, cut off the cats, was just running straight open, you know, open exhaust, open headers. It sounded horrible. So I bought a Borla Pro XS uh, muffler, Borla Pro XS muffler, and uh, we installed that onto the uh, current exhaust. I, I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do on the exhaust uh, yet to, uh, to get it installed, but that's installed on the truck and it sounds completely different it sounds 100 percent better uh let's go ahead and do a cold start i don't know what that explosion just was that was pretty loud still running pretty rich and uh, I don't know why I don't know why it's still running rich like that I've changed out everything that needs changed out it's got new uh, you know pretty much new everything maybe the O2 sensors I don't know um, I don't know if it's an O2 sensor issue as of right now I don't have a check engine light 
Um, you know, all sensors are new, everything's new. It just, it runs extremely, extremely rich, and that's a huge issue that I'm trying to get figured out. As soon as we can get that issue figured out, I think everything will be back up to really where it needs to be. But for some reason, it's just an issue that I can't, you know, we, we can't seem to, uh, seem to clear up, and I don't know why. Go ahead and do a little cold start in the old GT. So yeah, let's talk plans for 2024. The channel's shrunk quite a bit. I mean, um, I think we're at like 14,000 subscribers and some change, but we don't have a lot of activity on the channel anymore due to just not having any content or having time to make content to post. Uh, but we're gonna change that here in the new year. That's one of my big goals is to really get back and get active back on social media. Now let's talk plans and ideas for the truck for 2024. I mentioned in a, uh, I think it was either a TikTok or a Snapchat video that I want to do something big again uh, for 2024. Now, obviously I did the engine swap this year and yeah, that was a big project, but that didn't bring any changes to the way that the truck looks or anything. Obviously it drives better, it acts better. Uh, I'm gonna change the front end a little bit with these headlights, the new chrome grille and the uh, purple Chevy bow tie. The bow tie returns, I got rid of the GMC look and now we're back to the Chevy look, but I do, uh, you know, I want to do something different. I, uh, I really want to do something with vinyl wrap. I have an idea, I have two ideas that I would like to do. Um, well, at least one of those two ideas. But if anybody else has any ideas, um, comment down below. I'd like to see some of your guys' ideas. I want to change up the tire and wheel setup. I love the anthems, but I really want to go to a different direction. I really want to go with some kind of a polished wheel whether it be a forged wheel, an old school setup, or something like that. And I want to go down to 33 inch tires. I like my 35s, uh, but I think it would do a lot better if it went down to 33s. Um, you know, the only way I'm going to ever go back up in tire size or bigger in tire size is if I did a solid axle swap, which is, you know, another thing that I know I'm going to see in the comments because it's always LS swap and solid axle swap were probably the two most commented things when it comes to OBS trucks. And I would love nothing more than to do a solid axle swap. Uh, it's been on my list of stuff to do for a long, long time to this truck. It's just the fact of the matter is um, with just a regular size garage, and no shop, you know, no bigger garage, nowhere to store the truck, nowhere for it to fit when it did get a solid axle swap. That's a huge, huge problem. So we're, that's gonna have to wait until we end up getting, you know, a different house or kind of some kind of a shop or something where I could have it to where I can leave it in the shop. Don't have to park it outside because that's the last thing I wanna do is to have to leave this thing outside all the time. So yeah, there's a lot of changes that I would really like to get done to the truck. Um, a lot of stuff on the list, but for 2024, I really want to not only just number one, do something to make this thing really stand out, just kind of really bring it back out, um, you know, and, and uh, kind of make it a lot different than it has been in, in the past few years. Um, so like wraps, like, like I mentioned wraps before, I've got a couple of ideas that I would like to do. Um, just, I don't know which one to do. So if you guys have another idea, um, you know, comment down below. I'm taking every idea into consideration. I want to really jump back into doing social media, jump back into doing like internet stuff, TikTok, um, Instagram, back to YouTube again. Uh, the whole reason that I haven't really been doing a whole lot is really mainly the fact that the truck community is just not how it used to be. Uh, when I started this channel and even just a couple years ago, it was, you know, a lot of fun. Um, you know, you meet people, people, everybody was into like the same thing, into the truck scene, into just trucks and customizing trucks and helping people out. And now it's like every, tr every truck show or every show you go to, it's just like a, uh, you know, how, how much money can we spend? You know, it's a competition of who's got the most expensive truck, who's got the biggest wheels. Uh, we don't care about... You know, the guys that build their trucks in the driveway, build their truck in the garage anymore. It's all about who could just throw the most money at their truck and make it the biggest truck out there, which is great. You know, I enjoy seeing the SEMA builds. I enjoy seeing the big, huge lifted trucks, but it's like this. And uh, you know, those of us who spend 
our time and our money, you know, what little of it that we've got, you know, maybe, um, and try to build something, you know, in our driveway, in our garage. Um, you know, that's the stuff that I enjoy. That's the stuff that it really, you know, got me into the truck scene and we really need to bring more of that back out. So hopefully, you know, by the time Lifted Truck Nationals rolls around for 2024, not only will we have some changes on the actual truck itself, but maybe some changes in the community. Maybe we can make it back into a truck community again, instead of just, you know, a, how much money can we spend kind of a, a battle and I just really I'd like to see that go back I don't know if it will but I'd like to see it go back and if not maybe we're just gonna have to start you know start it over again we really need to get back to the roots I think uh, but yeah there's shows that I want to hit um, next year um, I would really like to hit Music uh, Music City Showdown in Tennessee um, don't know how possible that's gonna be but I would really like to go I would like to go to Lone Star Throwdown at least once um, taking the truck might not be an option because I know registration fills up really really quickly and uh, it's really hard to get in that show and as far as getting your truck registered to actually be in the show uh, but uh, comment down below if there's any other shows that are cool to hit any other good shows out there and uh, we'll see if we can make something happen but uh, yeah i'm really focusing on you know cleaning the truck up more um getting it to run 100 percent like it's supposed to uh, we're, we're almost there as far as the new engine and everything we're almost there we just need a little bit more tuning P potentially some kind of black bear tune i don't know there's something we need a little bit extra um and uh, i want to focus on some interior stuff like i said vinyl wrap some some sort of vinyl wrap and change up the uh tires and wheels i'd really like to uh you know do something something there but yeah we're going to film it we're going to get back into youtube we're going to get back into showing you guys what we can do with these obs trucks i know as of right now there's plenty of obs truck channels out there plenty of truck channels in general so it's really hard to stand out but we're going to try to make that happen and try to get back up there in 24. i'm going to really focus on instagram TikTok, snapchat stuff like that so be sure you hit that description down there follow all my social media accounts because we're gonna really be jumping back into that for the new year and uh, we're gonna see what happens guys so anyway hopefully you guys are looking forward to it looking forward to getting back into watching the videos on this channel because uh, I'm you know I'm looking forward to getting back to editing them getting back things cleaned up like they're supposed to be to get the garage back potentially shop at some point who knows what's gonna happen in the new year you can just make anything happen if you put your mind to it and that's what we're gonna do. Comment down below, what do you wanna see? Let me know. I love taking people's comments into consideration. Sometimes you guys have mentioned things that I've done to the truck and you know, I just, I enjoy you know, you guys being a part of that. So, you know, comment down below, like, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. We'll see you in the next year. Thank you for watching.